look at it this way. Human beings can change the future, consciously. And that's pretty weird, you know? We don't exactly know how we do that. You look at the future and there's some possibility here and there's some possibility there and you want to go there and you don't want to go there. So I ask my students all the time, what did your parents sacrifice so that you could go to university? Well, they put up their hands and they say, well, you know, they saved and they scrimped and they moved from China and, you know, they had to start here as immigrants and they sacrificed all that so that, well, so that what? so that reality would shine its benevolent face on their offspring. And so you can make fun of the idea of sacrifice all you want, but you all understand it. Now, you're a little more abstract than your ancestors were, you know, and they had to act this out in a dramatic way because they didn't have the same kind of psychologically sophisticated conceptual understanding that's standard now. But I'll tell you, the fact that you can think psychologically about sacrifice is a consequence of the of eons of work done by your progenitors in the attempt to solve an unbelievably difficult problem. And although they might have made some mistakes along the way, and you know, let's, let's not assume, you know, let's assume that we're doing precisely the same thing, they certainly got us to where we are now. And you tell me whether or not you believe that if you sacrifice the right things in the present, that God, the transcendent reality, is more likely to shine his face on you in the future. Well, whether you say you believe it or not, I don't care, because what I think what constitutes what you believe is not what you say, but how you act. And the probability that you all act that out in some form or another is 100%.